Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of our O-Life Social Series live here on Marina. And we are very excited because we are back in the theater. Uh, there has been a lot of work being done for the last, oh, many, many months here in the Marina Lounge. And soon this stage will be filled with singers, dancers, shows, and of course, our audience. Once again, my name is Leslie John. I will be the cruise director here on board Marina, and I'm pleased to bring to the stage our dancer, choreographer, Carlene Pectus. I was practicing that, yes. Carlene Pectus. <laughs> Carlene, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I know this is not normally where you like to be. <laughs> you like to be saying five, six, seven, I eight. Do. And get, th that is a sound that I never get tired of. I walk into the, into the theater and I hear five, six, seven, eight, and the dancers start dancing. And uh, it's great to have you here. Thank you. First of all, I wanna know a little bit more about you. I know you're from New York mm -hmm. and you were dancing from the age of? Two. <laughs> two, what was your dance? Would you be ballet, tap? Tap, jazz, ballet, uh, moved on, you know, everything modern, contemporary, sort of through college, and but jazz is my main background. And as a performer and as a dancer, uh, you did many, many shows. Yes. And you love the Broadway musicals. I do. And you have been with Norwegian Cruise Line Creative Studios for how long? Since 2005, I started as a performer. And then for the, about the past eight years, I've been directing and installing the shows. Do you have a chance to choreograph as well? I was actually the associate choreographer for I Love Being Here With You, the music of Peggy Lee that we do on this show. She got in the whole title of the show. <laughs> she got in the whole Because normally we don't say the music of Peggy I Lee. Know. We just say I Love Being Here With I You. Know. Uh, which is one of the shows mm -hmm. which will be here uh, on Marina. Yes. Among many other shows, which we're going to talk about yes. in uh, a second. This is your second install with Marina? This is my first install with the Marina. It's my second install with the Oce with the Oceana brand. Okay. I was on the Riviera, on, I mean, not unfortunately, but unfortunately when the shutdown happened. Right. So that's where I was when we got one show up, we were able to do that and then... The shutdown. Then the shutdown happened. How have you kept busy throughout these last 15 months? <sighs> so, you know, still just going over the work, thinking about just hoping and praying that we'd be back someday soon. Um, spending a lot of time with family, which was nice that I don't normally get to do because I travel a lot for this job. Um, so, you know, it had its ups, but it definitely had its downs because this is what we do. And I missed it greatly. We have all been in a bubble before we came to sit here. We've been wearing our masks. Mm -hmm which we will ask all guests to do uh, until they come into the theater. Mm -hmm. And if they're having a drink, then they can take their masks off. Uh, but the protocols here are been very strict and the team came on 10 days. 10 day quarantine. You're in quarantine. Mm -hmm. And we could only uh, talk by putting notes under the door. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> since then, the cast has been in, a, fairly nice bubble and they will wear their masks backstage yep. just before performance time they will be coming yes. out yes they'll have it on the entire time until they step foot on the stage safety first absolutely uh, what was it like being a dancer and growing up in New York I mean where else it's the best place to be how many that. times would, would you would you sing New York New York and do a pirouette <laughs> in front of Times Square. <laughs> Just every day, you know. Um, it's, you know, it's a beautiful experience. It's a beautiful place to grow up. I mean, for the arts especially, to be able to go see Broadway shows all the time and go to places like Broadway Dance Center to take classes. Um, it's just, it's an incredible opportunity and experience. And I was lucky that I was born and raised there. Um, and I could just, you know, hop on the seven train every day. And uh, I went to high school, uh, to a performing arts high school in Manhattan. Nice. And then I would, um, I would go to school for half the day. And then I would go to Alvin Ailey Performing Arts Center for the second half of the day for dance. And um, so I was very lucky. And dedicated. Yes. I mean, that takes a lot of hard work yeah. and uh, determination. Uh, tell us about our new cast. They are incredible. Um, I feel very, very lucky 
an honor to be able to work with them. They're a very talented, hardworking, kind, funny group of human beings um, that I know you will enjoy not only on stage, but off stage as well. We, uh, we've had several meetings with the cast and I've watched them around the ship. Uh, and you have to remember, uh, for the longest time, no guest, no guest. And their personalities, I told them uh, just yesterday, if they take that personality that I see off stage and they have that on stage, which I know they do. They do. I've, I've seen it. It is so great to see a very young generation of performers coming out here, singing, dancing, doing what they love to do. Mm -hmm. And they're giving 110% in rehearsal. Yes. Tell us about the shows that they will be performing. The shows, we have four main stage production shows. Um, I love being here with you, the music of Peggy Lee. Again, she got the whole title <laughs> Which in. is a tribute and homage paid to the music of the amazing Peggy Lee. Um, we also do uh, Dance in Fool, which uh, is sort of takes us on a journey through all of the most famous styles of dance. There's a Fosse section, there's a swing and ballroom, um, and it's a really fun, high energy show. Uh, we to also give us some of the songs, because I've walked by and heard some of the music playing. We do, we open with the song Dance and Fool. We do a Fosse section uh, where there's a Bye Bye Blackbird, Gotcha, Sing Sing Sing. Uh, we do a fun ballroom section, which is a, a sort of Jazzy or take on classics like uh, the way you make me feel. You know, it sounds a little different than the way that we're used to hearing right. it. Um, and it's a really fun section as well. Uh, there's a big disco section that we do. So we do some knock on wood, shake your groove thing. Uh, one of, my, one of my favorite really songs fun. ever is shake your groove. Mm. If How that's playing, you get, you get you up on the <laughs> dance floor. Okay, go on. And then we do the Brill Factor, which uh, is a tribute to the famous Brill building where so many of the most famous songs that you know and love were written, created, produced, all of the above, and it sort of takes us through that journey. And? And Broadway in Concert, which is uh, all of your favorite Broadway songs from your favorite Broadway musicals, past and present. And it's a really beautiful cabaret style show. And that changes uh, all, I mean, you, you're bringing in new songs. Correct. For the cast, yes, for the this Broadway is, Concert. Especially for the marina, this is a, a new version that of we Broadway will be doing of Broadway which in you Concert. Love. Which I love. Uh, tell me about the audition process, because I know that you travel around to different parts mm -hmm. of the country. First of all, you have an incredible work facility in Tampa. Yes, yes. Uh, with actually, uh, you have the stage set for the exact stages of the different ships. So when they came onto Marina, it was all familiar they to have, them. Yes, our amazing stage managers that we have tape out the floors in the studios. Uh, they put the number line, they put all the depths and everything that we need to sort of know so that when we come onto the stage, it's as familiar as possible. Uh, we'll have the set pieces for the most part um, and sort of any props that we need, any of those things we Is have. Is this couch? there as well we don't have this <laughs> this exact guy we sort of use a table and chairs in rehearsals but this is the much nicer version. we chose we chose this <laughs> and we also chose the uh, french background yes uh from which, which show is from is dancing fool from dancing this, fool. all of this is from dancing fool all right the audition process how where do you go how long does it take we travel all over the world now um casting the, our casting office um I mean, they, they go to like Russia now, they go to the Philippines, they go to all of these different places, as well as obviously through the states, they'll go to different colleges, um, they'll hold sort of different uh, conferences and things like that um, to just try to find as many talented singers, dancers, actors as we can possibly find. Uh, they audition in person, as well as uh, people can send in video reels, they can audition online, especially in the time that we're in now. Of that course. was something we had to sort of grow and the Zoom learn. audition. Mm -hmm. There was a lot more online submissions and live online auditions that the casting department would hold as well. And is this throughout the entire year or is there a certain season that you'd go audition? All year, all year they're doing it. Yeah. So if somebody is wanting to 
perform on board a cruise ship and they want to be a part of your shows, how do they get that information or do they just see that there's casting going on and, in their neighborhood? Uh, there's different sort of newspapers for the arts and stuff. Backstage is, a, is one of the biggest ones. Um, we would post in places like that. You can go online if you search uh, Creative Studios by Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. Um, you'll find our website and all of the auditions are always posted on there as well. Do you miss performing on a regular basis. I do miss it a little bit, but I I love what I do. I love getting to be a part of the final product and most of all I just love getting to see these performers grow. Just see from where from where we start on day 1 to where we end up the day that we leave them, which is always a very difficult day. Sure. It um it's a really wonderful feeling to see how far they come in such a short amount of time. It's raising a family. It is. It is. I do. I call them my kids. <laughs> it is. It, it feels like a family. You travel together. You came here together. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to leave, are you? you gonna, I don't yeah, want yeah. to. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's true because performing, uh, once you decide, okay, I'm going to stand back for a while, you get to see other people get the applause, mm -hmm. and it is so gratifying. It's very rewarding. And another thing that is different here of performing on a cruise ship is that you see your audience every day. Mm -hmm. You know, for a, maybe a period of two weeks, you perform, then you go out that evening, you see them, and it's a great way for the cast to get to know uh, our guests. Yeah, it's very special. It's a the the whole experience of working on a cruise ship is a very special experience. And yeah. you know it firsthand. I know it firsthand. And uh, <laughs> you are going to be treated to a wonderful group of singers and dancers. And on Marina, we've got the best. We do. So, Carlene, really thank do. you, thank you, and thank to the you. production team thank that you. is here on board yes. to uh, help the shows yeah. get sort of the install yes, team. Yes, the install team, the lighting, the sound, our stage managers, all of the techs on board. We we couldn't do it without the whole picture. And you bring your own MD here. We bring our so. music director, our own music director, stage manager, and sound designer. Well, we are happy that you're here. Thank you. It's great to see the lights on, to it be here good. in the theater. There will be physical distancing uh, in the theater uh, when you come to see the shows. Yes, it's a just little to bit different. Keep the performers safe while they're performing without their masks on. And something different the first two rows will be, uh, at least for the time being, yes. will be empty. So yeah. uh, we are looking forward to the cast reaching beyond those rows. They will. And performing. Uh, four shows, Broadway in concert. I love being here with you. The songs of Peggy Lee. Nailed you, it. Boy, what a promotion <laughs> that show has gotten today. Dancing Fool and The Brill Factor. Yes. Now we have two, before I let you go, you have to talk about the two bumpers, bumpers. two short numbers. Yes. Tell me about it. So we also do bumpers, as we refer to them, and they're sort of short little five minute uh, dances that we do to that you guys use sort of wherever you need them on the ship. They can open any type of show. They can happen um, before a guest entertainer, before a welcome aboard show, before a speech that happens. Um, it's sort of for the ship to decide. Um, and we do a Latin based one and we do an ABBA bumper as well. And it is a tribute to the music of ABBA. And there's Mamma Mia, Take a Chance, Dancing Queen. It's just 70s disco-tastic fun. And <laughs> a great moment out on deck is when we do the songs of ABBA in Stockholm. There's something really great about special. that. Special, yes. Very, very special. We go visit the museum and... <laughs> That's right, the ABBA Museum. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Carlene, I'm so happy that you're here with us. Thank I'm you honored. for bringing Thank on you. such a great group of people. Our pleasure. And uh, we look forward to seeing you Thank back you. here again very, very soon. Thank you. Once again, this is our Olive Social Series to all of our guests at home. We look forward to opening the curtains and saying, ladies and gentlemen, make yourselves comfortable. This evening's performance will begin in just a few moments. Carlene, thank you. Thank you. And arrivederci.